Hello children. Welcome back to the online class. Today's memory verse is Do to others as you would have them do to you. Means as you do to yourself, you should do to others. How you love yourself, you have to love others. Luke 631. Okay, now let's go into the topic. That is mathematics term 3, lesson 1. That is geometry. And in the last lesson, in the last class, we have learned curved lines, straight lines, curved lines and straight lines. And also we have learned diagonal. What is the diagonal? Line joining opposite corners. Opposite corners. Okay, opposite corners of any shape is a diagonal. If it is for square, it is the diagonal of the square. So, square has two diagonals. We already learned this in the Zoom class as well. And I have asked you to write this. And in Zoom class, I have taught you the sides, edges, corners, diagonals of cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, sphere. So, many of you were very actively participating in doing the assignments. Today, I got many assignments. Okay, the answers for that are... Already I have discussed in the Zoom class. I want to teach you in this. See, number of sides. Six sides will be there for a cube. Number of edges. Twelve edges will be there. Okay, sides means nothing but. This is one side. This is one side. This is one side. This one. So, four sides it will be having. And up one side and down one side. I have shown you the example in the zoom class. And for cuboid also the same way. Four sides and up one side, down one side. So it is having six sides totally. For cube and cuboid. Edges means nothing but. Edges means. This one is called edge. Okay, the line joining two sides is called edge. So, totally 12 edges are there. If you count, 12 edges will be there for a cube. Okay, so 4 in this side, 4 front, 4 side and 4 back. Okay, so totally you will have 12 edges. The same way for cuboid also, this side 4, this side 4 and back side 4. Okay, so 4, totally 12 edges will be there. And if you see the corners, corner means nothing but here, the corner. Okay, this point is corner, the edge, I mean this corner, okay. Where all the lines will come and join. That is called corner. Okay. This is called corner. This is called corner. So totally 8 corners will be there. This side 4 and that side 4. 8 corners. Okay. The same way for cuboid also. It just means where two lines will join. That is called edge. Okay. These all are edges. Okay, but corners means where all the lines will meet together is called corner. Okay, and diagonals. How many diagonals? I have shown you already the, about the diagonals. So, it is nothing but. So, if it is, this is a square and you have to draw the diagonal like this. For a cuboid, we should draw diagonals like this for everything and if it is like in the live I, I was showing you in the zoom class so we will get totally 16 diagonals for a cube and for cuboid also 16 what about cylinder cylinder will have 3 sides number of sides cylinder will be having 3 sides up 1 2 3 3 sides 
edges it doesn't have any edge no corners no diagonals what about cone cone will have up one down one so two two sides what about edges no edges but corner here one corner is there one corner diagonals nothing what about spear spear is nothing but if you take a football that is called spear okay football round that is called spear so spear how many sides it will be having inside outside two sides it will be having edges no edges no corners no diagonals okay children now shall we go to the next one so in this you have to draw a cube so draw join the dots like this and do you have to draw like this and inside this inside you have to practice like this cube cuboid the same way like this you have to practice okay this is the way you have to draw the cube and cuboid also cylinder you have to join practice seeing the picture above okay cone also same way you have to join because i'm joining with the finger it is not clear it is not coming clearly but you draw in the book later okay spear you have to practice this one after that the next topic is tangrams tangram we have already studied in term uh, term 1 it is nothing but a traditional chinese puzzle made of a square divided into seven pieces one parallelogram one square five triangles so if we see one big square it is divided into seven pieces see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 so out of this seven, one will be parallelogram one square and five triangles will be there okay so that can be prepared to match particular designs so we can make many designs using that okay we can make figures of animals people and many things using this seven pieces see here tangram rocket tangram dancing girl tangram horse see here okay and the next one identify the tangram pieces used in the given images by coloring and numbering the pieces as in the reference figure the reference figure is the first figure see here one that is the pink one is one okay so you have to use one as pink color and two see here this this shape you have to mark it as two and color it as yellow color okay and four see here four see this is a square right so square green color so four green color okay like this this one four so green color you have to color like that you have to color for all the things okay children next thing see this is one activity collect or make a set of tangram pieces with the help of your parents teachers or elders and try to make shapes as in instructed only triangles you have to use with this okay use pieces 1 2 3 and 5 so you have to use pieces 1 2 3 and 5 okay next tele rabbit you have to do telephone various shapes of your choice any choice various shapes you can do okay next next topic is tessellation 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 is created when a shape is repeated over and over again covering a plane without any gap or overlap so when a shape and some shape is there for example the shape without any gap if it is repeated continuously okay this is called tessellation 
when you fit individual tiles when you fit individual tiles together with no gap or overlap to fill a flat space you have a tiled floor like this we have already learned that few shapes such as triangles squares hexagons tiles tile on a plane while few figures such as pentagons heptagons do not tessellate on a plane we already finished learning this one okay now the assignment today's assignment is complete the shapes this is called tessellation you have to complete the shapes and color it neatly and send me even this one also you have to color it okay like this this is orange and this is pink and draw one more tile to continue the pattern so this is the pattern they gave using this one you have to draw one more tile okay and this one a square you have to use one more square and draw it so totally four squares will be coming and like this okay but this also same you have to draw one more okay one two three four five six so six are there we have to draw one more okay like this okay here also the same way continue one more like that continue here in this space like that okay children and send me through whatsapp very easy you can do it so continue doing this and send me through whatsapp okay children i hope you all understood with this we have finished first lesson Thank you.